Bank of America Merrill Lynch's Douglas Leggett captures first place for the first time in the integrated oil sector. He also earns a runner-up spot in oil and gas exploration and production. The Houston-based analyst shares his views on the impact that geopolitical tensions are likely to have on the price of oil and the prospect for growth in his sectors. I refer to the oil price outlook as a necessary starting point for our business because there's nothing proprietary about taking a view on geopolitical risk. This is a geopolitical risky business just by the nature of 40% of crude oil supply coming from the Middle East. There's always going to be something somewhere which is disrupting that. And I think what, what we try and focus on is within a range of scenarios, um, focus on the managements and the quality of the asset bases of the companies. And whatever the oil price is going to do around that, hopefully you're keeping exposure. You know, where you have positive views on stock, you're keeping exposure to the outperformers within that, that, that set of circumstances. But I think in terms of oil price weakness recently, We've been remarkably stable on Brent for a very long time, and I think the OPEC countries, Saudi in particular, have been changing their um, strategy a little bit to try and manage that volatility. And that's been a good thing. Stable oil prices is good for everybody. In the grand scheme of things, we expect the, the oil prices to stay within a, a relatively modest range, and investors can hopefully work with that, and more importantly, oil companies can invest uh, without being you know, too concerned that we're going to get the kind of extremes that we saw, for example, back in 2008. Our focus is very much stock specific. In that respect, we are responsible for three sectors, three subsectors within energy. One are the very large companies, the international oils, as we like to call them, which is the Exxon Mobiles of this world, um, Anadarko's, those kind of companies. Um, generally speaking, they are larger and therefore the value proposition tends to be more modest just as a function of their scale. On the other extreme, there is the volatility which lie, comes with the refining sector. The refiners have really been, frankly, the, the significant outperformer of the, last, of the last three or four years because they benefited from the structural change in domestic crude oil, but at the same time as you've had an export ban on crude oil, which has basically left them with a windfall. Well, frankly, we think that's largely played out, and so we see that sector now as largely range-bound and, frankly, higher risk relative to the others. The third sector, which is really where the bulk of our focus is right now, is the, um, the large cap E&Ps, the exploration and production stocks that are leveraged to this huge growth opportunity in the, in the lower 48, the shale. But they also have the management and the capability and the execution to be able to bring that value forward. In some cases, that includes companies that maybe their resource portfolio is, has changed to the point where they now want to restructure themselves or it's so large that they want to sell some of those assets to bring that value forward. So, so that's where we think the greatest value opportunity is. But, um, but we have to remember two things. First of all, these are equities, meaning that they will move with the wider market. And secondly, they are energy stocks, so they will move with the commodity. So we're working within that overlay of volatility. But we're, so what we're really trying to do is pick the winners. And as things stand today, we have a relatively defensive slant on our portfolio selection. So for example, Bank of America Merrill Lynch's energy, energy team have had Hess Corporation and Occidental as our two top ideas, largely because they are ticking a lot of those boxes. They're monetizing assets, they're growing their production, they're restructuring themselves to adapt to this, uh, this new world environment.